what would you want as a disabled person for that inquiry to hear about the experiences of deaf and disabled people? Yeah, I, I think I think like involve them from the very onset. There's a pandemic, there's a crisis. Talk to us about it. Be honest and open about it. And have us as part of the discussion about how we we deal with that. Let us link together and be a bit more transparent and open for those who want to link together. If people don't want to be linked together, <laughs> leave them in peace. If that be their wish, you know, design things around people. It's more efficient. It feels better. It's more effective. Um, you know, it's it's it, it helps you advance in a more positive way, and it keeps people feeling a lot safer and connected to the community. Don't yeah. isolate people. Don't and, and don't box people off, and don't make assumptions around vulnerability as uh, as well. If, if, if that makes sense, I think that's one of that that'd be one of the big things. Have that discussion, and don't yeah. just throw resources needlessly at people because you think it's the right thing to do. You know, have a purpose for it. So if you're going to spend money, spend it wisely. You see what I mean? If you're mm-hmm. going to use resor- resources, use it wisely. And bring people into the discussion that have uh, a solutions-based outlook on life. Positive people, you know. We've lived experience. 